So, ladies and gentlemen, we are here with the lunar eclipse of 2024 on 17th or 18th, depending on where you are residing in the part of the world. And this eclipse is in the sign of Pisces. Moon will be in Pisces and Surya, as you know, will be directly opposite. Surya is the sun in the sign of Virgo. So, this is the conjunction of so if you see, if you go to drikpanchang.com and you want to check the degrees, uh, you can go there and you will find. So Surya is at around 1 degrees. And then if you see Ketu is also there uh, around 12 degrees. And Moon, of course, 1 degree, it will be uh, around the time of the eclipse, same degrees. And Rahu is there in Pisces. All right. So Rahu Ketu is around at you know, 10, uh, 11 uh, or rather, yeah, 11 degrees roughly in difference. But nonetheless, this eclipse will impact everybody. It doesn't matter which part of the world you are. And this video will be as per your ascendant, your lagna, your rising sign. Do not see using your Chandra Rashi, your moon sign, Chandra Lagna. Only see this using your ascendant. Okay, Lagna rising sign clarification before beginning the video. And if you are interested in a personalized horoscope consultation from me and you want to know how this eclipse will impact you, then my website you will find in the description section. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you enjoy this video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. So now, What's going on for Aries? Let's begin with Aries, right? So for Aries, uh, this eclipse is in your 12th house, of course. So this, uh, as you know, 12, what is 12th house, right? 12th house shows uh, losses, uh, could be seclusion, could be, you know, spiritual uh, retreats, you know. So you may be, uh, you may feel a bit drawn towards, you know, solitude and introspection. Uh, but the problem is you may feel that uh, things are more, uh, I mean, so you may be a bit lonely, but because of this eclipse, you you may feel, oh, you are always lonely. There's nobody with me, okay? <laughs> so you may feel, so because of this eclipse, things might appear exaggerated. So there could be hidden emotions or subconscious patterns which could surface and you may have an urge to release old baggage, right? So how do you release your old baggage? By by uh, punishing somebody else <laughs> or by punishing yourself, right? So how do you punish yourself? So you get into alcohol, you watch uh, adult material in the internet or you get into drugs and all this, okay? So don't punish yourself. This is just temporary. But use this time uh, for spiritual growth because you may feel that things are a bit overwhelming and you may feel things are not under your control, external situations are not under your control and you might be wondering what what did I do wrong, okay? But the advice is that you focus on self-reflection uh, self and you let go of what does not serve you anymore. Twelfth house is the house of letting go, okay? And try to avoid unnecessary expenses. And if you are planning to make any purchases uh, after or in and around of 17th, 18th, yeah, you need to be careful because you may not need it and you may regret <clears throat> You may regret later, all right? So don't get into escapism and uh, try to do spiritual practices and try not to punish yourself beyond a certain extent, all right? Thank you. Take care, Aries. So now we go to Taurus. This eclipse is in your 11th house of gains, network circles, you know, ambitions, social life. So this is a fantastic uh, transit, but, but, but there's one danger with this transit. For you, Taurus, you may be overly dependent on somebody. So this can be detrimental, okay? So don't be overly dependent on your friends and your network circles. Uh, they might disappoint you, okay? So you might experience changes uh, also in your long-term goals or you may reevaluate. So suppose you have your career plan, you know, what you want to do in the next three years. Now you may think, oh, I can do this in one year itself, okay? Or you may realize, no, I need five years to do this, okay? It was uh, too optimistic, okay? So therefore... Uh, it is imperative that you uh, understand that 
you might achieve your goals quicker or it may be delayed but that's fine you know everything everything works as our car as per our karma so uh, we can control things to some extent but not not everything okay so don't get disappointed i mean i understand taurus ascendants because of other placements in the horoscope you are feeling overly ambitious and you want to rule the world <laughs> uh, which is fine but uh, but don't count too much on others okay others might disappoint you so be open to new opportunities for growth in your professional and social life avoid conflicts with your friends and embrace changes in your ambition okay i hope it's for the good take care core taurus congratulations and wish you all the best now we go to gemini this is in your 10th house name fame power position authority will be taken away <laughs> don't worry it won't be but it could be now what are, what are eclipses eclipses would be completions or endings okay so be a bit careful with your profession now in general this is a great transit for your profession which means you may end a job and start a new one okay but uh, in the worst case if your mahadasha antardasha is not the best then in the next 6 months there could be a danger of demotion or job loss so be a bit careful with that so your public uh, image and career uh, your status that might undergo some change a transformation okay and one danger for you could be in general as i said this is a fantastic transit you may get a great job and you may take it but one danger with this is uh, to uh, to to get more recognition in the public eye you take up such a job which you know deep down inside you cannot do and then after 3 months they lay you off so this is something which is not good okay so do not take up any opportunity which you are not confident with but of course if the opportunity is great then take it and don't worry i mean you have to take risks in life right but if it is a completely uh, unexplored territory my advice is Uh, better not do it now okay so there could be some clashes with your authority figures or bosses you know or they may play a significant role they may recommend you or they may not recommend you so be prepared for that <laughs> and don't make impulsive decisions you know because uh, if if the sign of pisces is involved you may make signs uh, you you may uh, you may make decisions out of sadness okay so don't do it just because you don't like a job just don't leave it okay So go out there, uh, remain patient in your career, and avoid making impulsive decisions. Uh, reflect on your long-term goals and try to align them with what you like, and not just because society thinks it's right. Okay, all the best, Gemini. Great transit. Congratulations, but be careful. Now, Cancer, Karka Lagna. This eclipse is occurring in your ninth house, a brilliant house, brilliant transit, just like Cancer. Uh, Taurus and Gemini, this is another brilliant transit for you. Congratulations! Mm, now, but there's one issue with this: you may get into conflict with others because of trying to superimpose your ideals. Now, ninth house is a brilliant house. It, uh, in, in the good side, uh, it's brilliant because you want to uh, do spiritual practices. You know, get connected to a guru. and so many other things okay so if if you if you want to upgrade yourself this is fantastic there's no better time okay 9000 is the best house of the horoscope in that context because it helps you see the divine okay uh, but don't try to uh, drag everybody into your realm of divinity that's not good okay so if you feel that you are doing uh, you you were doing something similar or you are or you have the tendency then don't do it okay also uh, depending on your dashas there could be a long distance opportunity you know in a different state or in a different country to go and achieve some success so if required then do that so this is a time to deepen your existing spiritual practices and uh, perhaps have a shift in your life's purpose or a re redefinition of your life purpose so long distance travel or higher education may also be affected okay So what is the advice the advice is be open to other ideas and uh, do rather than knowing too much start following something okay so your beliefs also need to evolve 
so if you are if you are believing the same thing from last you know like many years maybe it's time to upgrade it so read more learn more upgrade yourself and transform for the better all right so cancer congratulations once again fantastic transit but keep it to yourself <laughs> okay take care now leo simha lagna this is the west transit <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, uh, certainly not. It's a difficult one. This eclipse is in your 8th house, okay? You may feel overwhelmed. The 8th house is the graveyard. It's the smashan where things go to die, okay? Now, moon gets debilitated in the 8th. And moon and Ravu are there in the 8th. So, certainly not an easy one, okay? Now, when can it be good and when can it be very bad? Let's try to understand. So, 8th house in general... Shows, you know, unexpected things. So, for example, if your Mahadashas or and Antardasha, both of them are excellent, then this can give you sudden gains, okay? Or if one of them is good, another is average, even then there could be uh, good enough gains, okay? But if the Dashas are either average or below average or very bad, then you will have trouble during this, okay? And this will be more of like a mental trouble, okay? And there could be issues with your uh, hidden uh, hidden things, you know, certain hidden things could come out. So if you are if you were trying to hide something or some scandal, trying to brush it under, under the carpet, it may not work. Also, there could be some issues with, you know, shared finances, inheritances and uh, joint resources, okay? And emotional intensity may be on the rise. So th this is important that you control your anger and uh, try to channelize it, you know, uh, into your spiritual energy, okay? So, you may be called to transform and let go of, like, you know, outdated emotional or financial dependencies, you know. So, focus on transforming yourself and healing. Healing is very important. And don't take uncalculated risks, you know, buying some meme coins or penny stocks, don't do it. So you need to be cautious in investing your money and even more cautious about investing other people's money. Okay, very, very, very dangerous. You might have to cut a sorry figure, okay? So Leo, unfortunately, I don't have the best news for you, but you should use this period to uh, spiritually transform yourself, to meditate more and, you know, do more internal sadhana and uh, be responsible with your life, with your emotions and with your finances. All right, Leo, take care. Don't worry. You will be fine. <laughs> All right, Margo, this is in your seventh house, Saptam Bhav, right? Seventh house, relationships, partnerships, time to get married. <laughs> or what if you're already married? Trouble is here, right? Well, could be, could be not. So, it depends on your dashas. So, for example, if you are looking to get married, you might find a proposal, you know, you, you, or maybe your wedding is on that day or something like that, okay, depending on which part of the world you are, which culture you are belonging to. Uh, or if you are already married, maybe it's time that certain issues in your marriage, they are nearing completion. So, you are finding closure. Okay, closures. <laughs> That's uh, that's a very tricky word, right? Closure on some things related to your past. So, if you were hiding something from your spouse, you may be exposed or your spouse may be exposed. You may see some version of your spouse or they may see of you, okay? So, so you need to reevaluate your relationships uh, and you may feel the... So, during this eclipse, what could happen? You may feel very much dependent on your spouse, okay? So, which is not bad sometimes. It happens with everybody, right? Nobody is an exception. But you may be forced to cultivate detachment, okay? Because your spouse may surrender and say that I, I cannot make you happy. That's not possible. So, therefore, understanding is required. Patience is required. So, convey your expectations, but don't make hasty decisions. Otherwise, you will regret, okay? And the most important thing for you to do during this transit is uh, to strengthen your communication. If the communication is good between the husband and the wife, then everything else is fine. Okay, Everything can be managed. And the same will hold true for business partnerships or relationships with other people in general. Okay, Seventh house shows everybody. Okay, So, 
do proper communication and uh, be reasonable with your expectations okay and don't punish your partner more than what they deserve all right this is something you need to take care virgo to take care all right now we go to libra lagna tula lagna what's going on this is in your sixth house Oof, time for hard work sir <laughs> So, your work, your health, your daily routine, they might take a toll on you. You may feel exhausted and you may feel, ah, oh, I'm working 24 hours, okay, what is happening? So, uh, it's fine, you, so, see, now, there are certain things in your life which are, which are not happening. So, you, now you have to make them happen, okay, there is no excuse. So, you cannot just, like, surrender you cannot just say oh i will not do it you know anyways uh, all these things doesn't matter so now you have to get it growing you have to grind okay there are health issues work-life balance issues which you are facing so this is like you are under attack from all sides okay not attack in the sense not that literally people are like you know uh, wanting to uh, destroy you but there are so many things which see because the sixth house shows struggles in life and when there is an eclipse in your sixth house the the struggles appear to be exaggerated okay so if you feel that your life is difficult then maybe it certainly is everybody's life is difficult but in reality it is not as difficult as you think if you take a pen and paper and write down you meditate you contemplate you will be able to see how things and how patterns are playing out but if you think, uh, yeah, I mean, my life is the worst, then you will succumb to it, okay? So pay close attention to your health and your daily routines because they will bring you success or failure. So focus on improving your work environment and maintain your balance between emotional and physical health. But you need to work hard. Clear of all the dues. Let all the crap be out of your life, all right? So take 15 days by end of September, just finish everything, whatever is there. All right? Take care, Libra. Now, Scorpio Lagna. Scorpio, this is in your fifth house, Pancham. Oops. <laughs> Number five, creativity, children, romance, love life, relationships, uh, happiness, vision, purpose, goal of life. Fifth house represents all of these. So, guess what? Time to find your life purpose. So, creative projects, romantic relationships or matters related to children may uh, come up and you may experience emotional upheavals, okay, or unexpected changes. You may feel inspired to realign your creative pursuits, but there will be a deeper purpose or there has to be a deeper purpose. So, Scorpio Lagna, if you are suddenly feeling that life is not so purposeful anymore, so you need to find a purpose, okay? And eclipses can help you find that purpose because otherwise what happens is you will just uh, keep dragging on from years and years and decades and you realize uh, you actually did not find any purpose, okay? So you know, try to uh, find a purpose in your life and uh, try to be more creative with everything. Try to think out of the box. Try to think out of... Uh, out of your vision, you know, try try and see yourself outside of the body, okay, and try to see what is going on, why are you doing things, why are you pleasing people, why are you doing a job, why are you in this relationship, why are you staying here? So, if all these questions are not answered, then you need to find answers, okay? So, this is also a great time to look to a guru and take guru diksha if you can. But nonetheless, uh, you need to understand that for you, the most important thing now for this transit, this eclipse, is that you have to find meaning in life. Everything has to have meaning in life. Otherwise, uh, life is not life is not worth living. Okay, so if you don't find meaning, then don't worry, you are not alone. But you need to find it. Okay, so be more creative. Try to find your life purpose and enjoy life more. You know, enjoy not just uh, in terms of like partying and all this but try to be happy even if you know there's nothing easier said than done but try your best all right scorpio take care so sagittarius lagna what is going on this is in your fourth house fourth house is family home emotional foundations 
you know, so family matters, emotional stability or your home environment could be a bit shaken, okay? So there could be some issues in your home or in your house, okay? So there could be some repair which is required. So you may feel the need to reevaluate your sense of inner security and home life, okay? It's very, very, very important. What is stability for you? How do you define it? Or there could be sudden changes in your, you know, living situation, okay? That's like, uh, you, know, you you might change your place from here to another place, you know, or you may change your city also. If there's an eclipse in your fourth house, it could happen that there is change of residence, okay? Now, you need to focus on emotional healing and some past traumas, okay? And uh, creating a nurturing home environment, that is very, very, very important. So avoid major decisions related to property or your family at this time okay so if you feel uh, you know you you need to buy a property then you can but you need to be a bit more conscious okay because you may make wrong decisions so what can happen during eclipses is you want to buy a property so you go and see and you're like oh wow this is the best property you know so i want it and then later on you are regretting okay later means not after 10 years that why did you buy this but yeah instantly after two three days of making the deal itself you are regretting okay oh i should have not done it so therefore um, you need to understand that uh, this is it is imperative that you don't make impulsive decisions when it comes to vehicle purchase or property purchase okay and try to study more learn more and take control over your emotions and don't let your outbursts come out and destroy human relationships all right Take care, Sagittarius. So now, we go to Capricorn. This is in your third house. So, third house is communication, siblings, travels. So, there could be new doors which could open up for your communication, siblings, you know, short travels and uh, communication issues or misunderstandings uh, with your siblings may arise, okay? Also, you might get into social media. <coughs> you may feel mentally restless or experience kind of, you know, disruptions, you know, sleep, you know, or short-term travels or, you know, immediate goals. There could be issues with your visa, PR, passport, um, any kind of permit which is, which is required to travel, okay? So, new perspectives may emerge regarding how you communicate your idea. So, you may start off with a YouTube channel or, you know, Instagram page or you might start writing in LinkedIn. So, the advice for you is to stay mindful of your words and avoid arguments. Okay, try to cultivate some patience because you may feel extremely restless during this time. Okay, so focus on improving your communication with siblings and take care while traveling. This is very, very, very important. Okay, uh, because otherwise you will feel that uh, all your travels have become a waste of time and money. Okay, so don't let that happen because you may feel that your objective of travels is not getting uh, achieved. So therefore, if you feel that you need to travel more, uh, that's great. But uh, traveling comes with own set of responsibilities. So if you feel you need to uh, get more out of your travels, you have to plan them properly. Okay, Don't just randomly travel to not feel bored or lonely. Okay, Travel because you want to experience. So therefore, at the end, the most important thing for you is communication and travel and uh, put focus uh, on your mental health also because you may feel restless and that does not give you a license to blast on others. All right. Thank you, Capricorn. Take care. Now, for Aquarius, this is in your the house of victory. <laughs> Second house. This is your finances, your speech and family. So... Careful with your words. <laughs> Financial matters, family dynamics may come into focus. Sudden expenses or shifts might occur. Now, there could be some issues with your finances or you may, you know, uh, reshuffle your finances. So, reshuffling means suppose you, you have a property and you are selling the property and you are putting the money into the bank or the stock market, okay? Or from stocks you are putting into crypto or you are buying a property with it. Okay, So this could be there. And um, financial matters could be important. You know, you might also get a new job if uh, things go well. But there could be also sudden, uh, yeah, sudden expenses could come uh, because of your, uh, because of your family. 
okay so there could be some requirement some hospitalization of some elderly member or there could be some travel or vacation because of which there, there's a lot of money which you need to shell out okay so your speech and communication style may also be revalued so people may come and tell you you are not speaking properly you are speaking too fast or you are speaking too slow or you know you are not able to put forward your thoughts properly this could happen at times so be conscious with your words plan before you speak like for example you know you have to speak at a major event or you know you're going somewhere so plan properly okay so be conscious and cautious with your finances don't just uh, hastily reshuffle everything and avoid impulsive spending so first, try to foster clear and uh, compassionate communication that's important with your family member so try to understand their needs requirements and interests and only then act okay so this is a great time to have good relationships with your family members to improve your relationships and also you need to understand that it is not just about me others also matter okay so if you uh, if you have uh, problems with your family members try your best to sort it out of course easier said than done because you cannot change your family right but try your best and leave the rest to god okay and try for getting parallel sources of income you know like side hustle or a mini job on the side or whatever okay maybe an internship if you are a student okay so try to gain more money and wealth and have good relationships with your family members all right take care aquarius last but not the least should have been the first because for pisces this transit this eclipse is happening in your lagna moon and rahu is in your lagna during this eclipse and sun ketu are in the seventh okay so this will directly affect yourself your self confidence your self worth your personality your health and no yeah this uh, will directly impact your sense of self and identity oof does it mean you will get a identity crisis <laughs> if you are above 35 uh, what is that on a ah, midlife crisis right well could be could could be not so you need to understand uh, that you may undergo deep emotional transformations and you might feel that your life in every area is a bit out of control okay so you might experience like you know self doubt you know and you, you may want to redefine yourself and that's very important and you might want to align yourself with a higher purpose okay so if you feel that you are not able to understand where your life is heading or why are you behaving in a certain way then maybe it's a great time where you know you try to find your purpose you you try to find why are you doing what you are doing so if you feel lost then understand it is not because you you lack talent or you lack intelligence but it is because you are lacking the right motivation and you are lacking the right vision so for example let's take any area you know you, if your marriage is not doing great so you should ask yourself why is it not doing great you no know, uh, like what am i doing which is not the best or what what can my spouse do to improve this relationship and uh, prefer a good communication okay otherwise uh, you will continue to feel like this for the upcoming 6 months and on the brighter side you might be very much motivated to uh, make you know life changing decisions to you know go to the next level you know like hit your gym goals or your career goals so that's very important so if you feel uh, you can do do your best and go to the next level then perfect put put your energy so now is not the time to sleep more than it does so try and try and have a good sleep but understand that now is the time that you put you take action and you prove it to yourself that you are worth it okay so therefore your focus should be on improving your life whether you are successful or not that should not be your focus because if that is your primary focus you will be miserable okay so be more action oriented and not too much uh, result oriented although that is also important but if you are too result oriented you may be frustrated because you may not be seeing results okay so therefore uh, try your best and leave the rest to god 
but don't waste waste a single minute and make the best use of a bad bargain okay thank you very much everyone please take care and for personalized consultations you can always visit my website down in the description section god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you are new see you again soon jai siaram